Hey everybody, welcome Hello. to uh, Britpop's Reaction with me, BP1 and BP2. Back in uh, the house. We are back uh, from yesterday anyway. Uh, <laughs> we've got another request for you today because we yep. will be reacting to Adam Lambert, who we're growing Ooh. to enjoy on this channel, uh, with yep. a song called Sleepwalker from Glam Nation Live. Okay, uh, let me guess who uh, asked for this one. Uh, there we go. Madison G. Uh, Madison our... G. Resident um, Adam Lambert requester and Lambert. Glambert. Uh, I think she's on tour at the moment over in Japan. She's been going to all the uh, the concerts over there in the Tokyo yeah, Dome. So hope you're having a fab time if you're not home already. Um, so this is, uh, as we mentioned, uh, by recording artist and American Idol from season eight runner up Adam Lambert. Yeah. The song was written by Ryan Tedder, Amy Mayo and Chris Lindsay uh, for his debut album For Your Entertainment, written and recorded in 2009 and released as a seventh and final single from the album. So we've been enjoying him, haven't we, as, as it's been going along. We're sort of getting to know a bit more yeah. about Adam Lambert and his singing style and his voice, which, you know, we've said it a couple of times. Don't want to keep on about it, but ooh, he does remind me of George Michael, which is a very good thing. Uh, this is Glam Nation, 2010, mate. I mean, how many... What, what's going on? Has he even been around for 14 years? Do you know what I mean? It's crazy, isn't it? Where does life go? I know. Um, anyway, enough of us rabbling. You want okay. to hear Adam Lambert, and so do we. So uh, let's get into it. Nothing. No. Nope. What if you turned off? Share screen. I must not tick the button. Okay. Let me just get it to that point. Yep. Yeah. Know already. I saw a picture of you hanging in an empty hallway. I heard a voice that I knew, and I couldn't walk away. It took me back to the end. Oh, everything. I chased it all. I chased it all. The tears again. Outside the rain's pouring down. It's not a drop, it hits me Scream at the sky but no sound It's leaving my lips It's like I can't even feel After the way you touch me I'm not asleep but I'm not awake After the way you love me I can't turn this around I keep running into walls that I Different, uh, mate, isn't it? Different yeah. to what we heard so far. Yeah, more rocky, uh, Adam. More, yeah, more rocky, Adam, on this one. Um, because like I say the other stuff was a bit more poppy, a bit more. Um, I, I do like it. I, I didn't think anybody would actually copy that costume after I'd worn it the previous time, but you know, fair play to him. He's rocking the old well, pop you know, nicely. He must have got it out there somewhere. Um, very, uh, uh, very much channeling the prince type of look there. Uh, I do like it's it very though. Very young, very, very young. young yeah. um, 
Yeah, I mean, good image as well. But I mean, like you say, it's that sort of rocky overtone guitar, which I do like. Not sure about you, but I'm enjoying it. Yeah, I mean, it's good. I mean, yeah. don't, don't make me go wrong. I mean, his, his vocal is obviously brilliant. Uh, Song-wise, yeah, it's sort of like a... It's not even... I was going to say gothy rock, but it's not. It's a certain mm. type of rock, but it's, it's... I'm not sure it's straight to my ear, if I'm completely honest. But he has got... I mean, he's still got a fantastic voice you can see where where he's come from and how he yeah how he is now like some of the the ones in lockdown that madison introduced us to so yeah um, and it'd be quite interesting to know on the timeline you know where where this came well, where it's before queen isn't queen, it yeah so where they came in and sort of decided that you know this was going to be the chap that was going to front the queen band and you know because hearing this now you would you sort of said, oh, we can do our songs? I don't know. I don't know. I, I, this is just one song, though, isn't it? I guess yeah. over a me- melody of songs, you're going to say, yeah, this. Because we know how good he, how good he is. Mm. So, um, yeah. So, I don't, so on on the credits for the song, um, it credits uh, Orianthe with the guitar solo, which I'm not sure if um, she will appear in this or she, he's using a touring band on there. So Orianthe, uh, Penny, right. and Panic. Panagaris, um, <laughs> just known as Orianthe, Australian <laughs> guitarist, um, and she is quite sort of synonymous, famous for, she rehearsed with uh, Michael Jackson in 2009 in preparation for the tour that sort of didn't happen, the This Is It concert, and then she also yeah. performs in Alice Cooper's touring band, bit of a bit of a well-known lady rock guitarist, so I don't know if she'll pop up or they'll um, use the, the, the guy that did the first little bit intro there hmm. fair enough fair let's enough uh, okay. appreciate it like as we go along alright let's keep going cheers and all the places we used to know there are always a heart pain I walk around and I feel so lost and lonely you're everything that I want but you don't want me I, I can't turn this around He wasn't sleepwalking through that, was he? I, te- I, I, <laughs> I kind of said it jokingly in there, more on his dress sense, but that could well have been a sort of Prince-style song, you know, with the guitar solo. That could have easily been sort of Sheila Ree on the drums there. It was that kind of, yeah, attitude-y, I don't know, rock, guitar-driven song. 
Yeah. If that no, makes sense. I, yeah, <laughs> I think so. Um, interesting, mate. I mean, it's just one of those ones where you, you sort of find yourself just enthralled in it, really. I mean, I was looking yeah. at the audience. I think they were very much the same until he brings on the chorus because there's so much to his voice where he keeps yeah. changing it up. Um, I mean, that's impressive, isn't it? You know, you, yeah, yeah. He wasn't sleepwalking through the performance. I mean, the, the different sort of vocals and everything he was putting in there. He's, I mean, he's a talented chap. Um, yeah, I'm impressed with with um, and, and, and like that's I say, early doors. Didn't that's really, really know. Didn't really American know anything Idol. about it, did we? Yeah. yeah. No, we didn't. No, we, we we missed this. So it's good to go back and see. Yep. You know those early Adams and where you pick up and go. Yeah, yeah. This guy can really sing. And interesting of what we've heard so far is it's very different. Yes. Obviously, you've got the, the Queen. We know what what he's done with Queen, but yeah, um, we we had sort of no idea before that. I mean, so this is from as you mentioned the Glam Nation live album, but we've done a couple from the Velvet album, and we we find that sort of bit sort of George Michael esque. This yeah, may have to listen to a few more. Rocky. Mm, all right, all right, yeah, indeed. Um, what are we going with then? We always score, don't we? A bit of fun, remember? Mm. A bit of fun. Um. 8.2 from me. I enjoyed okay. it. I thought it was good. Yeah, yeah no, yeah. I'm going to be up the other end of the spectrum. I'm going to go with a 9. I, I, I really enjoyed it. I thought that's my, that's my kind of rocky, guitar-driven thing. Cool. All right. Uh, 8.6. 8.6 up there. Yeah, we'll do that. There you so go. Adam, and thank you very much, uh, Madison, uh, for another great request. Uh, uh, yeah, enjoying the our little um, delve into Adam Lambert. Impressive. I've got to get me one of them cod pieces. I mislaid my other one. As you do. As you do. These things. Just leave them lying around. Just leave them lying around. Hoping that no one else swipes <laughs> it away. Um, all right. Well, thank you so much for joining us today at Blue Pops React. Uh, until tomorrow for another reaction from us. Goodbye from me. Uh, goodbye from that lovely gentleman over there. Not a cod piece inside. Cheers.